now this is what my uh, first uh, lecture here on introduction to uh, ns3 architecture so first directly what i do is uh, ns2 already you may, many of you have might have heard about ns2 so ns2 it's there from 1998 up to uh, 2011 the time frame is only for just 12 years but 2015 onwards uh, we have a tool called as ns3 so before that it was under development so now it is almost matured and now NS3 focused mainly on C++ and Python programming. So if you are comfortable in C++, we can go into C++. If you are comfortable in Python, we can go into Python programming. So it is a discrete event simulator. Like uh, most of the network simulations, they were all discrete events. So it is everything is based on a finite number of events. So uh, one event uh, packet sending is one event. Packet receiving is one event. Uh, plotting the results is one event. So everything is based on the discrete set of events. Actually, NS2 and NS3 both were from the same university. So, same university have done it. So, whatever NS2 models were, they just imported into NS3 or they reused the model of programming into NS3. So, whatever you do, the performance in NS2 can be equally be done in NS3 as well. So, so it is a, NS3 is a new simulator, but some of the models were ported from NS2 to NS3. So, uh, now, I have just given operating system, uh, Ubuntu virtual machine image, I have just given you. You can make use of uh, that because uh, most of the times installing the software will have a tough time. So, to avoid that, I have created a VM image. So, that VM image can be used by all of you. So, the VM image, since we don't want to restrict only to the paid participants, whoever registered for our workshop, we have given the VM image. So, if they wanted to use, they can also use. So, we have already shared it. I'll just show you how that IBM image can be done. I mean, after the explanation gets over. Okay, so uh, we can use in Windows also, and we can use in Linux as well. So in Windows, there's a separate process or procedure there. Uh, I'll be showing you that also, because in my machine, I have in Windows, I have in Linux, everywhere I have this NS3 installed. I'll just tell you how to do that. So again, uh, uh, shortly by tomorrow, we'll give a manual also. So manual means exercise number one, experiment number two, three, four, like that. We just, uh, we are in the preparation of this manual. So we thought of giving at the end of the five days only. But anyway, if I give tomorrow, then at least you can have a flavor of uh, working out uh, before the session gets over. So that's why we'll be giving a manual also uh, tomorrow. Whatever we see, we document it and, and give it to you. So NS3. Uh, it works with the Windows, uh, sorry, it works with Linux perfectly. In Windows, we have one model called as Windows Subsystem for Linux. Generally, we call it as WSL. So, I'll just. So, in Linux, we use in Linux. Generally, Linux. And in Windows, we use one model called as WSL. So, WSL means Windows Subsystem for Linux. So, this also we can able to use uh, NS3 here. So, these are the two things. So, we have already sent one VM image. So, the VM image has already been shared. Anyway, I'll just share that in the text window also. If you want, you can download uh, both this, uh, I mean, this operating system. So, this is where NS3 have a support on this. Increase upon. So day one FTP. Okay. So NS2 versus NS3. So NS2 uses OTCL and C++, whereas NS3 uses only C++. So only if you know how to uh, read a code, how to understand a code, it's fine. Because now it is a chat GPT era where the codes can be generated through artificial intelligence and uh, we can able to directly use those codes. But I have tried for NS3 using chat GPT and Google Gemini, but uh, many of the times the codes were not working or, or not com compiled properly. Maybe I'll show you a demo also. So even for uh, if the code is not working to make it work, you should have some basic knowledge on how NS3 is operating. So. It is a fundamental thing that everyone has to know what is what whenever you see the code or what is this code you should you need to understand that so that kind of a programming knowledge is there it's uh, it's a prerequisite for this understanding okay and we have many tools uh, with uh, ns3 so you can see some of the tools here so these many tools are uh, there for ns3 
so we need to have wireshark then we need uh, net anim network animation we need trace matrix for analyzing ascii trace and we need uh, ascii trace files uh, that will be generated from ns3 we have packet capture files we have flow monitor to handle the packet flows and we have gnu plot for uh, plotting and visualizer so visualizer is a bug so it is not been used because we use net anim so visualizer ne we need not use so these are some of the tools that we can able to do so in the first 2 hours of session i will show you everything here so that you can uh, at least when you whenever you feel oh i can do this work so like that you have a clarity on how to use these tools i'll be i'll be showing you that okay so now uh, this is how the way ns2 and ns3 were so ns2 was just uh, uh, still in many of the countries so ns2 was still been used but ns3 now they are migrating and uh, there are so many difficulties in ns3 as well uh, because of this difficulty many many students or research scholars they can they refrain themselves in coming into ns3 because ns3 can able to solve many of the world problem today and anyway we will see uh, how we can able to do all these stuffs okay now these are the five abstractions that we see in ns3 so you just please understand these five uh, what is a node uh, what is an application uh, channel networking device and topology helpers so your entire ns3 was categorized into these five abstractions okay so abstraction means uh, it is these are the some of set of classes uh, that's available in ns3 ns3 is completely an object oriented so so ns3 is an object oriented so abstraction number 1 is node number 2 is channel number 3 is uh, application number 4 is net device number 5 is topology generally helper classes generally we call these are helper classes so these are the five things that you need to uh, know about uh, ns3 okay so what is a node what is a web channel what is an application what is a net device so a topology helper okay so now generally when when we see in a blind model a node means a computing device generally we call a node means a computer is a node so we call the node as a computing device channel means a communication path between the nodes generally we have two nodes node 1 and node 2 if you want to establish a communication path between the two nodes then we call it as a channel so the channel can be a wired channel or wireless channel wireless channel means no physical connectivity will will be there but we have some medium access control it deployed in one node and medium access control deployed in another node so both can able to exchange packets via wireless medium so that is we call channel that is wireless channel wired channel means we have ethernet communication and we have uh, uh, i mean uh, ethernet uh, then we have uh, optical fiber and there are many acoustic fi fibers so we have many kind of uh, wired communication is possible between two different nodes so node is a uh, computing uh, generally a computing device channel is the communication path established between the multiple nodes application means what kind of application run in node number 1 and what kind of application run in node number 2 so uh one maybe node one can be acting as a server and node two can be acting as a client so in that case an application a server application is running in the node one and server application uh, client application is running in the node number two so for that i define some application so generally not only this application this is one application another application is uh, udp uh, echo server or uh, a streaming server so all these things are we call it as an application or http application or uh, uh, snmp application so that's what we call as an application so a node talks to another node via a communication path which we call it as a channel and the node uses an application called as http application which is running on either of these nodes so that's what we call application so net device means networking device so networking device is a combination of software and hardware so uh, every node needs one address okay so address means on what ip version 4 address we run it so generally for net device we need address so generally we need ip v4 or ip v6 so we need same addressing so net device is nothing but a networking device that we can able to set the address not only that we need the subnet mask also subnet mask so how do we do the subnet mask 255.255.0.0 so something we do the in the subnet masking for all these things to be done uh we need the uh, net device so this is where we have this uh, net device okay so finally topology helper is nothing but all other classes comes under the topology helper classes so if you want to use aodb 
if you want dsdb if you want to use dsr if you want to use tora uh, if you want to use uh, any other protocol uh, i mean rip the routing information protocol so for all these protocols we call something called as the helper classes so everything comes under this topology so these are the five different abstractions available in ns3 so node channel application net device and topology helper whenever you, you see the source code uh having these names you can immediately understand that okay this is telling about node this is telling about channel this is about application like that you can able to uh, fix it up so that's what here uh, we have the abstraction so this slide it's very important for you to understand what are the different abstractions in ns3 okay so now uh, we have just explained it here so what is meant by a node what is meant by application you can see some application is udp echo client and we have udp echo server so we have a echo server application and we have a echo client application so uh, this also we can be able to use in our program i will be showing on program and how we can able to use that now channel is you can see the channel what i used here is uh, csma channel uh, point to point channel and wifi channel so we have three channels here we have used here for example these are the three classes that is used in ns3 on csma channel i mean some of the examples here for channel csma means carrier sense multiple access so that means what a channel will be there where multiple nodes can able to compute for a resource uh, a destination node in that case uh, it's a carrier sense multiple access so that means multiple access will be possible and uh, if one node want to send packet to another node it can able to send the uh, packet in the bus the bus will select which is a where's the destination and accordingly it will be sending so during this time we have a collisions there because multiple packet hit each other we we call it as collisions so this way we can use the csma channel as one of the carrier sense multiple access channel point to point channel means only between two nodes we can able to have a point to point connection so node 1 will be there and node 2 will be there if you have a physical connectivity between these two we can establish a point to point connection wifi channel means it is spread across a frequency spectrum so if you see its frequency so in wifi channel uh, for example let me write it here wifi channel so the channel properties means if we say 802.11 so that's what we have a wifi standard so now we call uh, a p g uh, n a c then a x now b e now this how the way the standard gone so now we have the recent thing is wifi 6 and now wifi 6 e so these are the standards for what we uh, think about okay so this is uh, in what way they use the frequency of operation is 2.4 gigahertz then 5 gigahertz now we are going towards a 6 gigahertz uh, frequency spectrum so that means so this how the way so 2.4 gigahertz have some uh, good range good range but 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz uh, less range so that means but powerful connectivity will be there but uh, range connect the range will be less suppose if i have a router in my next room uh, if i use a 5 gigahertz then my connection will be very less enough but if i sitting in the same room i have a very good uh, powerful connection high bandwidth i can able to use but 2.4 gigahertz i have a low data rate but i have a good range means even after the third room i still get a good connection but uh, the bandwidth i can have a limitation there so this is what uh, this wifi this channels so if i want to establish a networking like this for that i need to select which uh, mac protocol i can use what kind of mobility model i can use so about the nodes moving here and there so how do i how i can able to position my nodes so all these things comes under this wifi channel so uh, uh, we have channel parameter uh, para parameters so i'll be showing you where the channel parameters you can go through it okay what is the gain what is the transmission gain and uh, what is the l factor what is the frequency that we set up on everything we can able to configure for each of these uh, channels here so first thing is the node and uh, second thing is application third thing is channel and uh, fourth thing is a net device you can see the net device is we have a point to point net device csma net device wifi net device and uh, see wifi net device uh, uses wifi channel point to point channel uses point to point net device and csma net device uses csma channel so csma net device uses csma channel so this is how the way it works so for each of this uh, channel to work we need to have the networking device so it is something like a ethernet card the so what we have behind our uh, desktop behind inside our laptop okay so that's what we have so nowadays laptops they uh, they don't come with ethernet but they have come with a wifi so that means internally there is a wifi uh, hardware is available to make your device to access as a 
Wi-Fi. So that hardware is nothing but the net device. So how do I model the hardware in uh, simulation is the NS3 has answer called as net device. So generally what we do is uh, generally we call network adapter. Network adapter for Wi-Fi, uh, which is in the hardware. But if you want to use the software for that, I can call the net device. Net device is a software model for handling the actual hardware. So this is the net device. So it's an answer for uh, NS3. Okay. So anyway, all these things, uh, whenever I say uh, you may be blank, but after I show you the source code, you can understand, oh, this is the purpose I am just writing the net device. Okay. So what I do is I will be explaining the complete source code of it, how we can able to use, then uh, you can able to understand how really uh, this, uh, this this things works. Okay. Okay, so now uh, this is the net device what we can able to use. And finally, we have topology helpers. So topology helper means all the protocol stack, then MAC address, uh, everything that deals other than all these four classes, we call the topology helpers. So topology helper means everything else is in NS3. Okay, so this uh, our, I know I'll share the presentation also and we will go into the modules now. Okay, now having said these basics, now uh, theoretically, if you go through it, you can, uh, there, will, there are so many things are there, but let us go into how we can able to use our uh, hard, uh, I mean, a, a demonstration. Okay, the first session is demonstration, but please, I, I expect uh, that as I already sent you a mail saying that there will be no quiz or no exams at the end of fifth day, but we expect that uh, those who attend this uh, FTP, you please go through, with some exercises what we give so we are giving some exercises and simple exercises we'll tell you the 